Hey, just people, it's Krista. I am here in Daytona, and I am going to be teaching you guys a painting today. So I hope you all are ready. Before we get started, I just wanna go over the supplies that you guys need. All right, so to do our painting, we're gonna need a few things. First, we have our canvas, which Becky or Kelly or one of the staff will give to you. Um, you don't have to have an easel. You can lay it flat on the ground if you're painting outside on the grass. Do not lay it flat in your apartments because the paint will stain your carpet. So you need to do this outside or somewhere that the staff has approved. You're also going to need three brushes. We have our big brush, our medium brush, and our baby brush. Underneath the brush, you'll see that I have our, or my in this case, apron. So I'm gonna put on the apron so that I can protect myself from getting paint on me. So I've got my canvas, my brushes, my apron, and you're gonna have to excuse my paint. Oh, and coffee if you're like me and need coffee. So our paint, you're gonna need blue, purple, light green, and dark green. And you're gonna put the, plate, the paints on a plate or have the staff put the uh, paints on a plate for you. And then you'll need a water cup as well. Fill it about halfway with water, and you can go ahead and stick your brushes in the water before we get started. Here I am. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our big brush out of the water. Who knows what this brush is called? All right, for those of you that said Big Papa, that means you've painted with me before. Now, our brush, our Big Papa brush, is gonna be a little bit wet from sitting in the water. So what I want you to do is wipe it off two times, just one, two, on your apron. Just give it two swipes on your apron. And then I want you to dip into either of your greens and I just want you to start painting all kinds of crazy strokes on the background. So I dipped into my light green, then I'm dipping into my other green. And this part's gonna move a little bit fast, guys. As you go along, you can start to dip in to some of your blue as well. So you're dipping into your light green sometimes, your dark green sometimes, and your blue sometimes, all right? Now mine's turning pretty green, so I'm gonna add some more blue because I really want some funky colors in my background. I know how much you guys like tie-dye, so you probably want some funky colors in your background too. So I'm gonna keep adding. I'm gonna do this all over the entire background. And I can even dip into my lavender at times if I want. If your brush gets too dry, just dip into a little bit of water, and you can go back to painting. So you're gonna paint the whole background with these crazy colors of blue, green, and purple. Now, if you start to mix colors and your background starts to turn brown, because sometimes purple and green will turn into brown, then I want you to lift up the brush and go to another area of the painting because you don't want a brown background. This is a very happy spring painting that we're doing. So we want a nice bright background. See how that's turning brown? I'm gonna leave that area and go somewhere else. And you guys actually are gonna have a better blue than me. I don't have my good blue. We're out because of Corona can't go to the store that easy. I don't think Michael's is open. So I'm just gonna have to make do. So you guys are gonna have a little bit more blue than me and that's good, that's a good thing. So I'm just gonna get this whole background covered in crazy colors. The crazier, the better, right? I mean, we know Becky's crazy, so there's that. And then you guys can paint the sides and the top of your painting so that when you're done, the whole thing's nice and covered and wraps all the way around. You wanna smooth out any big clumpy parts. I got some clumps there. I'm gonna smooth, smooth those out. my sides. Get this whole 
background completely covered. You know what I like to do sometimes, guys, too, is when I'm not teaching, if I'm just painting for fun, I'll turn on some music, and that helps me get a little more energized to paint. Sorry, I didn't mean to cover the picture with my head. So what I just did is I lifted up the canvas, and I flipped it upside down so that I could paint the bottom. All of our canvases are not going to look exactly the same right now. That's because we did a crazy blended background. Now, if you're worried about your greens and your purples blending too much, you can just do blue and purple or just pick two colors. Um, you could do blue and green or blue and purple and just stick with two colors to make it easier. But for now, this is my background. And now what I'm gonna need to do is let it dry. So since we're not all in the studio together and we don't have probably all blow dryers, especially you guys out there probably don't have blow dryers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our canvas, we're gonna lift it up from the back, like that. We're gonna carry it into the sunshine, or if you're already in the sunshine, that's great. And I want you to lay the canvas flat and let it dry for about 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you the rest. All right, guys, so while you're letting the painting dry, I want you to hit pause. If you're not caught up to where I am and you're still working on the background, just hit pause or have the case, work, case managers hit pause and then finish your background and when, you, when you're ready, we'll get restarted. All right, I'm back and here's what my background looks like. We've changed locations, so now we're painting at my house. Um, and then guys, we're gonna be using the colors red. So have your case managers give you red and yellow. I would recommend that you put this on a separate paper plate. Now I don't have any paper plates and I'm not going to the store right now. So um, I'm just going to paint right out of the bottle because I'm by myself, but you're going to want to put your paint on a plate. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my medium brush. So see, that's a little bit smaller than Big Papa. For those of you that have painted with me before, you know that we call that the ex-boyfriend's brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our yellow. So you're gonna dip into a little bit of yellow, not a ton. And all I want you to do is up in this top left corner, come down a little from the top, and I want you to just do a big old circle. All right, big old circle. I don't want a ton of paint, but I do want you to paint it in lightly, all right? So big old circle painted in lightly. And again, if your brush gets too dry, you can always dip it back into a little bit of water. So big old circle in yellow. All right, doesn't have to be perfect. We're not filling it all the way in. And then I want you to do, actually, let's make this guy a little bigger. He's pretty big. All right, and then I want you to come over here and come a little higher and overlap it and make another really big circle. All right, so two big yellow circles. And again, we're gonna fill it in, but you don't want a ton of paint on there. Oops, a little paint on there. Shake it off. And we'll just add some more yellow. We've got two yellow circles. Then we're going to take the same brush, but we're going to use the skinny side. So we're going to use the part that draws a nice thin line. And I want you to just take this brush and go all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. All right. Very lightly in yellow, all the way down. And then we're going to take the same brush and we're going to give this some leaves. 
All right, so we're gonna draw a leaf over here. It's just a slightly curved line with a slightly curved line underneath it. It kind of looks like a mouth. If you look at it a little bit, it looks a little bit like a mouth. And then over here, we'll do just a big leaf coming off the side. Make sure you get out any clumps. See how I have a clump up here? And then we're gonna rinse our brush off in our water cup. And guess what? We're gonna pause again. So from here, what I want you to do, put your canvas back out in the sunshine. I know this is taking a little bit of time, but don't worry, we have all day because we're all stuck at home with coronavirus, right? So I want you to put your canvas back out in the sun and let it hang out there and dry for a few more minutes. And then we'll get restarted. I'm back. All right, party animals, I'm back. And I rinsed off my brush. So my brush is clean, like I want it to be. And now what I'm gonna do is take that same medium brush that I've been using, and I'm gonna dip into both of my greens, some light green and some dark green, both greens on the brush. It doesn't matter what order. I just wanna have two colors of green on the brush. And all I'm gonna do is where I drew those leaves or petals, I guess they're called. They're not really leaves or petals. I'm gonna paint those in as best as I can. And most of us probably know that stems aren't yellow, they're green. So I'm just gonna go back over that yellow line with my greens and make my stem a little bit thicker. I'm gonna do the same thing on my other stem and my other petal. I'm just gonna paint this petal. So paint your petals in with your two greens. And then again, I'm gonna make the stem green and thicker. All right. Now, you can either rinse this brush off or you can go back to the big brush, which I, of course, already washed off because I knew it was coming. And I'm gonna go into red, if I can get this open. Oh, might have to get Colin's help, hold on. Okay. I got my red canister open. So I'm gonna go in with my big brush. I'm gonna get some red paint and I'm gonna paint almost all the way inside. I'm gonna leave a little bit of yellow on the outside, kind of like a little yellow flower halo. I'm gonna paint the inside all the way red. Now, do you guys see how I'm painting in the direction of a circle? That's on purpose, just so you know. And again, I just want to leave a little bit of yellow on the outside, not a ton. Just a little tiny yellow halo. Just do the best you can with that part. So I've got my red filled in on the first one. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to fill in with red. Just leaving a little bit of a yellow halo. All right. So painting all around, filling it in with red. Filling in that big red spring flower. Because maybe we can't go all around right now, but we can bring the flowers into our house, right? With some pretty paintings. Now, if you want your flowers more red, you're just gonna take extra paint and just keep filling it in, all right? You guys are probably using Masterpiece Mixers paint, which is really good paint. The paint I have today is not very good, so you guys is probably gonna look better than mine. That's all right, I want you guys to look better than mine. So paint those in. If you wanna add any more red over here, you can. Filling it in, filling it in. Lots of red. I'm gonna put a little more red over here. Oh, see how that's nice and strong red? That's better. There's my little yellow halo out there. 
And then guess what? I'm gonna go on break again. I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna put my brush in the water, put my paint down, and I need to let my canvas dry again. So my red's really, really thick. Actually, I wanna thin some of that out. Thin some of that out. I'm gonna go paint, I'm gonna go put my canvas in the sun. So I'll go put it in the sun. So now I've got my canvas drying in the sunshine. Oh, there's my shadow. So it's drying in my sun in the sunshine. We're gonna let all that red dry before we put in the final details. So let it dry. Max wants to say hi. Come here, Max. Say hi to everyone. Max, sit. Good boy. Say hi. Hi. All right, guys. I'm back. So our very last steps, we're gonna take black paint. So get your case manager, Becky, whoever, to get some black paint for you. We're gonna rinse off our medium brush and get a little bit of black paint on the brush. Not a ton, all right? We're gonna use the skinny side of the brush to make a nice line. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna give some highlights to our flowers with our black paint. So very quickly, very lightly, we're gonna do these swoops on the outside. Another swoop over here. Get some more black paint. You guys probably have it on your plate like you should. And then a little soup on the inside, a little soup on the inside. Maybe another little soup over here. Get some more paint over here. We want to put some swoops on this guy too. So a big swoop on the outside. Same thing. A little letter C kind of swoop. And a little swoop over here. We also want to do some little outlines on our leaves. So we're gonna do little outlines. Again, just using the thin part of the brush. And then maybe some, actually, you know what guys? I wanna thicken, sorry. I wanna do something else. I wanna thicken my stems towards the top of the flower. So what I did is I got my baby brush, I dipped into both greens, and towards the top of the flower, I made the stems thicker. Now, if that part seems too hard for you, don't worry about doing it. It's just an option. And I'm gonna use my baby brush. I can also come and just add another little leaf. Maybe I add a little leaf over here and color it in with my greens. Sorry, I should have done that before, guys. It's something I just wanted to add there at the end. We bite oh, that hold on. You're, you're painting. Okay. Sorry, a little interruption, don't mind that. And so quickly, I'm gonna put that leaf on. Okay, so back to what I was saying, sorry. So you're gonna get your black and you're gonna do little outlines. If you added that leaf, you can do a little line around that. And then last, I want you to do some outlines or lines on your stems. All right, guys. And that is basically it. If you guys want to add any more highlighting, you can. I'm going to add a little one up here, a little one up there. Just don't go too far with it. Too much highlighting is going to end up looking bad. But with that, you'll have two pretty circle spring flowers to enjoy for your Corona time. Thanks, guys.